Hello everyone and welcome back to 3 days Total War Divine and Conquer version 4.5 Playing as the High Elves with my pre-alpha Divide and Conquer overhaul So, what is happening? Well for one, we are beating the Dwarves heavily We're taking most of the territory from the Dunedain In fact, I hope we take all of them um, There it is Oh, it's a village It's a Dunedain village that has a... Uh, please It has a general in it too Interesting. Let's end the episode. Also, episode 200! The war in heaven is still continuing unopposed. Uh, we're trying to end this all, end all, naturally. Uh, we make we make end game money. Like, this is it. Perhaps we're in the end game now. No, go fuck yourself. You. We're in the end game now. End game now. Oh, they're gonna attack me. Okay, so they're gonna try to lift the siege from Ang Sul. It's gonna feel horrible. Um, our army should definitely be able to deal with it. So I'm gonna auto resolve this. Because I really don't wanna fight it. Yeah, there you go. Axe resolve. Exterminate. Was that. Did that say 270,000 gold or people? I think I think it was like maybe like 20,000 people. But that was. Mm, Eric Lewin! Once. <laughs> No, 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 you go fuck yourself, Eric Lewin. You're all gonna die. All of you. You stinky dwarves. And you failure humans. All of you are gonna die. As the high elves take the rightful place of the rulers of Eriador. And the fourth high kingdom. I think there were four, might be three. This might be the third high kingdom. I know one was in Beleriand, one was in Linden, one was in Eregion. So yeah, I think this might be the fourth high kingdom, honestly. Uh, no, they're horrible. Umbar, bes Umbar is besieged. That is interesting. I'm gonna see, I'm gonna see what's happening in the world. So much money, so much money. Bail. I mean, no, give me this. Suduri is doing its thing. Lond Agen. Um, more money. I really don't know what to tell you. Let's give me more money. How much culture do you have? 1% uh, yeah, I don't know. More Elven. Amon Sul has become a large city. The new Amon Sul, by the way. I wish it was a castle, but no, it's a city. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's, it's the new Amon Sul, by the way. So yeah. Better, bigger, better. You know how it goes. Emladris has finished recruiting some other in my tier now. I really don't know what to do with him. I'm, yes, my I'm not gonna lie. I just don't know what to do with him. This army needs a general. That is clear. Clear as day that this oh, army needs a general. My lord. Come on. And we will give it a general. That's for sure. Anyone? Any new children boy being... Oh, sorry. Any new children being born? No? Oh, yes! Hi! Finally, someone has a child! It's been too long. So, Ang Sul is a stronghold. Surprise, surprise. A dwarven stronghold with uh, 7,000 people in its, uh, in its halls. Or in its, uh, behind its walls. Hi. Uh, no, but just... I really don't care about fighting it. You, you shouldn't move. Okay, let me see. Let's toggle Foggle Door. We have reached the caps, so there's nothing here anymore. The wasteland is its wasteland. Okay, so who is besieging Dol Amroth? Look at Dol Amroth! It, they're actually trying to take over. They won, actually. They won the south. And, uh. Yeah. Okay. I. Um, Gondor has won the, the, the South Hall. Oh. oh, wow. Khan has uh, destroyed them. Khan has destroyed Mordor. Completely. Khan has won. Has won. Um, Khan also saved. Um, Gondor's ass. Look at the armies. Yeah, this is what happens when you don't. When you. Do Shadow Alliance. Oh, Erebor is the dominant force in the north, and then of course this is the blob of the High Elves. 
the undisputed rulers of Middle Earth, Middle Earth at this point. I'm pretty sure no one can be like, uh, actually, I don't feel like they're the disputed rulers of the Middle Earth. I feel like they're not that strong. And you're like, Shut the wind. fuck up. Elves, we must okay, uh, let's go. How much do we have? Six turns. Six turns. What do we have here? Faction leader. What do you have? Oh, it's the it, it's Halbard. Oh, 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 oh. Let's not fuck with Halbard. You, Halbard is a, enemy. a little bit dangerous. Elven dangerous. Ah. Um, all right. Let's uh, faction air. Faction air. You have to do an enemy right? Yeah. Do that bunny guy. Sorry. Yeah. Okay. Uh, attack. So they are done. They are dead. There's nothing. There's nothing that will save them. Ladies and gentlemen, the conquest of Anuminas and the formation of our new capital. The end of the oh, it's a beautiful picture, Mister. The end of the Dunadai is here, but not the end of the war in heaven, as we have the dwarves to kill. So I had some ideas, and I'm probably I'm sticking by my original idea and making a special thumbnail for the war in heaven. Uh, parts of this playthrough, as it is this chaotic event, it's almost rivaling the war of uh, Wrath in terms of ferocity. Look at this beautiful new elven city that's going to be a numinous. Oh, it's beautiful! Yeah, yeah, it's beautiful. I wish elves had this, had something like this, but no, we get shit. Elves get shit. Well, we get Rivendell, that's it. But well, Rivendell is beautiful, but that's it. We got nothing else. Look at this. Look! Oh, man. I wish I was a bigger developer. I wish I had more influence. So people would actually be like, Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make Elven Seas for you. Go, huh? Thank you. Okay, so first and foremost, towers are useless in this. Quite clearly, they're useless. So, uh, get off the towers. The towers are evidently useless. Okay. Good. Uh, Elrond, I'm actually gonna give you the honors of being the ones to actually enter the city. Uh, excuse me? You are part of... There we go. You will have the honors of entering the city first. Mytho uh, Calaquendi Nobles, sorry I keep calling you Mytho Nobles because um, the game was bugged like 30 games, 30 games for 200 turns the game was bugged, or the mod was bugged I should say. Um, you gotta enter second. Uh, oh there you go, okay. Whew. Wait, what? Oh, the the general is actually the general is protecting his city first. That's admirable. That is admirable. You cannot fault him for being for wanting to protect the the beautiful city of Anunnaki. But he's going to die. Fall. Yeah, he's going to die. What is it? Fourteen missile? Thirteen missiles? Yeah, there's nah. Done it's, its work. Done. It's done. You are not going to survive this.
My mouse is really giving up on me, huh? They don't have towers. They do not. We've captured the enemy's wall. <laughs> point blank. Nothing better. Just point blank arrow fire. You're done. Let's watch this battle. The battle is very much in our yeah, favor. Yeah, the they're just pushing them. Out. Look at that. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look, look at this. They're just pushing them. It's done. Let's enter the city of an. Oh, it's a tree! It's a white tree! Oh, damn! I didn't know Numinous had a white tree. That's news to me. I'm not joking. I really didn't know that Numinous had a white tree. I guess it came with Imra Hill. Oh, not Imra Hill. Uh, Enarian? No, wait. Isildur. I think it's Enarian, right? Boo! Let's actually go Google first king of Anumina of Arnor. Elendil! Elendil! Did Elendil bring the tree? I something tells me Elendil brought the tree. Not gonna lie. Something tells me Elendil brought the tree. So yeah, only the Noldor Eternal region has the honors of actually taking the city. You might be saying, oh, that's stupid. No, it's not. What? what? It's, not, it's not stupid. It's amazing. So, Cyberpunk is coming out in three days. It's December the 7th, 2020. And who knows when this episode is going to come out? Probably in January. <laughs> in January. Because uh, there is a gigantic backlog. I'm not joking. In fact, you're gonna, probably going to start seeing Easterlings campaigns before you see anything else. Like, you're going to see a lot of stuff. Even though I haven't finished this campaign, because it, this is a gigantic campaign. Uh, no. Don't waste it on... Another general falls. We continue like this, we will smash them. and Putman are a problem. That's 100% uh, guaranteed. Uh, Do I volunteers are not a problem. Arthurian knights are definitely a problem. I want them dead. But it's gonna take a couple of shots, by the way. They are. Yeah, never mind. They're dead. <laughs> uh, never mind. They are. Uh, they're dead. So yeah. Uh, this army of uh, six soldiers of Noldor Eternal Legion have killed everything here. Which is why they're going to cost 4,000 gold. The Only half the this alone is going to cost you 24,000. Know. And if I nerf even more gold or income, I should say, oh boy. Mm. Behold how our cowardly foe runs. This is a clear victory. Yes, it is. And so, Anuminous. The great, the great city of elves <laughs> is back in elven hands. That's right. Fuck the Dune Dine. I'm not going to exterminate the city. Why? Because I want to keep the House of Kings. Because in version, uh, we've actually version three actually is uh, fully updated now. Uh, version three, either way, version four is definitely going to have definitely has the house of kings has all the units from for the old for the high elves the equipment so you don't want to exterminate the or raise the city you want to do not do not raise the numinous please We've their uh, occupy just occupy it. It. and we have it here house of kings number of free upkeep two moral bonus to troops train here plus five public order due to law 25 the great city of Anuminas is ours. 
Alphadine. Alphadine is one of the three kingdoms of Middle-earth that resulted from the breakup of Arnor during the Third Age. In, the, in uh, 1601, in the Third Age, hobbits came to Alphadine with permission of Agraleb II. They settled in the land that is, would be called the Shire. They will be subject to the King of Alphadine and tasked with maintenance to infrastructure, especially of the vital bridge of Stonebow. Stonebows. Alphadine endured the longest of all the Dunedain successor states, but eventually fell on um, 1974 Third Age, after the rich king captured Fornost. However, a year later, an army led by Yarnor of Gondor landed in Linden, and after allying with the elves there, he and Glorfindel engineered a great victory over the evil of the Norn, and totally crushed the realm of Angmar. It was in this decisive battle that Glorfindel prophesied that not by the hand of man would the rich king fall. His prophecy came true 1045 years later on the Pelnor fields of Gondor. And the great city of Anuminas is ours. Now a great elven city. They had the Hall of the Faithful? I'm not gonna remove it because it's too big. It's just too big. Removing that would be a, a, a huge, huge mistake. We're keeping this. That that will never be removed. Okay, game. I got it. We removed a lot of stuff. The Invincible! High Lord Elrond the Invincible! I mean... You might as well call him the Invincible. Uh, oh, 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 we're done. This is it. This is the end. Oh, where's my reinforcement going in? Okay, there it is. They're gonna then crash at the, at the dwarves. Anuminas is ours, as, as I've said before. Uh, they're doing their thing, this is all secured. <sighs> Get the fuck away from my, from my shores. There. Okay, uh, anywhere I can draw soldiers from? We are victorious. My dude, the five troops. I really want to just assault it and end it here. And my worries. Let's do it. Let's see. How will it go? Take it for the elves. No! Back to their I guess we're having another fight. Ah, mistakes were made. Mistakes were made. You know me. I hate fighting Arfid or Dunedain city settlements. They're the best settlements in the game when it comes to defense. Hands down, the best. Which I hate, uh, with a burning passion. I hate that, but, you know, what's done is done. Send them there, send them there, uh, there, there. Okay, okay. Okay, stop! I did not double click the. F I hate you. Yeah, my, my mouse is dying. My mouse is dying. My mouse is dying. 100% mouse is dying. The siege towers are at the walls. We have nowhere to hide now. The battering ram is in place. It will not be long before our enemy's defenses fall. Our siege towers have been destroyed. Now we must use other means to break our foes' <gasps> defenses. How many did I lose? The battering ram has done How its many work. did I lose? Look at 
this shit. Look at this is supposed to be mine. But no. It's not mine. Just what are you doing? Enemy force remains. Yeah, yeah. Only half the enemy force remains. Good. Yeah, I hate I hate assaulting cities. I hate assaulting uh, Dunedain zones. The battle is very much in our favor. They're so the good to defend. So good. This is why Gondor is kind of will be easy when we, fight, when we do Gondor, because just look at it. It's amazing. Yeah, yeah, Dunedain scouts. What the fuck are the scouts going to do? Nothing, they're doing nothing. The battle is very much in our this army is fully the capable of taking all of them. Oh, but the Dunai spill still. Now, these are a problem. They have armor piercing. They can definitely destroy us. With every volley, they're killing us. We don't have an answer. We are all heavy infantry. I mean, we don't, you know. Armor piercing is our bane. The biggest of banes, if you will. But they're not that good at melee, so we should be fine. Actually, I don't know. Never mind, I can't see it. Keep killing them, keep killing them. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. <sighs> yeah, the brown show is amazing. Hmm. Okay, so the sh with this fight and with the end of this uh, Assault, however disastrous it was, will be the end of uh, the Dunedain occupation of the Shire. We will own the Shire, which means I can send all my forces to the war. Which means we might have uh, one or two episodes left to end it. I'm so happy. That means I can start doing uh, version 4. It also means I can actually finally play the game off video because I haven't been playing it at all because I just I cannot just pop in version 4 and be like yep let's play I can't do that so uh, I can't wait to actually test my changes because uh, a lot of people don't seem to want them or people maybe download them they just don't talk about if they like it or not which I encourage you if you do check out my mod and this is on discord by the way I will you know when I do Faction reviews, all the changes no and all that. Then I will publish the link for the mod. Um, but I hope you give me feedback. I really need to know where you know where I'm standing with the changes. Basically. Any day now. Any day. Wait, wait, what? They're winning this. They will win this battle. Wait, what? No way. There is no way they projected to win this. But yeah, that's right. There's just no way. We continue like this. We will smash the end. 
Oh boy. This is by the way, this is what a legendary unit is. These are the legendary units for the Dunadine. Look at that. Look at this. They're still fighting. Yep, these are uh, the legendary units. This is a clear victory. Ugh. Ugh. A horrible victory. A victory, not than less, but a horrible one. Maybe this is the end of uh, of the the Dunadine, because I don't think they have any more generals. <laughs> Maybe they do, but honestly, I mean, at this point, I'm ho I'm hoping they're done. Cause damn. But then again, what am I expecting? It's 200 turns. What do you expect? 200 turns, and you expect some miracles? No. Chief of the Dunai is dead. Our lands will be safe once more. Yep, 37,000 Dunadine will die. Eh, goodbye. <laughs> and with that, the Shire. Do I have any generals here? Oh, I do. I had a general here? Well, first of all. Scout the area. For the light. Yes, my lord. Elf. Come on. There we go. Forma. Elves. Um. We will need that one. Like the wind. We will need that one. Follow me. Time to do that. We must give Either way, this is the new governor of the Shire. Uh, the dwarf, you know, the the hobbits that are left. You know, everyone that is left alive after the the gruesome wars. Are to be now under the direct rule of him Elven warriors. and no one else. Do I have a garrison to actually move? Yes, I do. For the light. In fact, I have a gigantic yes, garrison to be moved. Elves. For the light. Elven warriors. And if you're wondering, this Elven is where warriors. the fighting stops for our boy Elrond. Also, make it a capital. Where is it? How do I make this a capital now? I forgot. How do I make the capital? New seat of power. Anuminas. And this is where the High Kingdom of the Noldor is reborn. Yes. yes. The High Kingdom of the Noldor is reborn. I can't. I could be. I couldn't be more happy. This, this is, is it. This is the end of our uh, of the war in heaven. Well, we're getting close to the end. The dwarves are left, and the dwarves are. Honestly, once I send out the army, that's it. We're done. <coughs> we're done. There's no force on earth, there's no dwarven force that can stop us once we send out these armies. We can now go and conquer all of Middle Earth, and nothing could stop us. Gondor wouldn't be able to stop us, Erebor wouldn't be able to stop us, but that would be just such a huge drag that I would not even, you know, not even entertain the thought of doing that. So, we're done. Do we get a, a message that the Dunedain are are failing? Anything? Anything at all? No, actually nothing. Like the wind, we will need that. Interesting. Elves. Basically, nothing happened. Okay, for first and foremost, uh, I'm gonna leave. Elven warriors. My lord. My lord. Elven warriors. For the light. I'm gonna leave Anuminas only with the Noldor Return Legion. Where are one of the brothers? Can you leave it? Yes, you can. Perfect. You are now the new general of that army. Um, do I have any. Uh, yeah, you could be a new governor of, of Fonas the Rhine. 
Anyone else that could be of interest to me? My lord. Swiftly. There we go. You are the new governor of Shire, so you are to be put there and not to be moved at all. Where's my Calaquini nobles? Oh, there they are. Calaquini lords, sorry, not nobles. I know why I keep saying nobles. I don't have the ability to train nobles. Come, my brothers. Over here, elves. Anyone else? Do I. Do I really have no more, uh, you know, children? Have I pulled all of them? I guess I have. Interesting. I have no more children. That is, uh, that is really interesting. Sudain, oh. He is now... A child. Mount Gundabad has finished. Hey, I'm not giving it. Earlstone has fair grounds. Good. Dunlark. I mean, I don't know. Just give me that. Berg. Uh, markets. Because honestly, I can, you know, I can wait on, on the mines. Bardvin. Give me the armor, I guess. Uh, Bregnas. More culture. Karas. More culture. And Forlond, more culture. Because we lost some of it. After the Great uh, War. Mifflund. As a Christmas. Okay. Um, the armies are moving. Oh, can I just. Ah. Fuck you. You are the new governor there. Four more turns for them to surrender. This is the new Where is their faction leader at this point? Seriously! I Yes, my lord. How are you doing? Anything to recruit here? No. Brunos? No. Zakella? No. No. Yes. But I don't have it. Okay, enter. Oh Gigantic army movement. Oh, 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 I should, I should, have, should have ended the turn. Uh, ended the episode, sorry. Hmm. I will do that. I will do that. Don't you worry about that. The episode will be ended immediately after, uh, after this. Immediately after these messages. <laughs> oh, the full force of the elves is now marching on Erebor. Is uh, Erebor? Ered Luin. Is Ered Luin ready? Probably not. Uh, probably not. In fact, I can guarantee you 100% they're not ready for what's about to hit them. Mistron is besieged. Well, would you look at that? Come, my brothers. That's a Jaren surprise. Right, fool. Ships ready. That's right, fool. It's a the enemy fleet. Victory is ours. Ships ready. What are you doing? Sink the ship. Thank you very much for sinking the ship. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, please do like, subscribe, or comment. I greatly appreciate the support. Goodbye.